A modern day conservation concern in Tasmania is the appearance of an incurable facial tumour cancer in the wild Tasmanian devil population. In the last decade, half of the wild devil population has succumbed to the disease. And scientists predict devils could be extinct within two decades. The Tasmanian Devil Conservation Park runs volunteerism programs that give people the opportunity to help save this fascinating noisy little creature. I next visit Port Arthur, one of early Tasmania's most brutal convict colonies. In 1996, it was also the main site of Australia's deadliest killing spree, where gunman Martin Bright claimed the lives of 35 people, wounding 21 others. Port Arthur runs several historical tours, including an after-dark ghost tour. I spoke with guide Laura Leeworthy about her experience working at Port Arthur. I've been a guide here at Port Arthur for about two and a half years and probably one of the best things about the job is being able to interact with people who are on holidays. They're usually fairly relaxed, um, just wanting to come through and wanting to be entertained, so I have the opportunity to entertain them. Also, I give them something to take away and they take away with some of the information that I can give them and, and that's actually really, really cool because a lot of people... They love sharing the information as well, so that's probably one of the best things about the job is interacting with all these really happy visitors. The, the basic history of Port Arthur, it started off as a timber camp in 1827. Um, three years later, they had it established as a convict station or a penal station, um, and it operated for 47 years, between 1830 and 1877. Um, it was an all-male prison, so only male convicts came out here. They're from a very wide age bracket. Um, some of the oldest convicts we have on record are up around 92. Flip side to the coin, youngest convict on record was nine years old. So that's a very wide age bracket. Uh, at its peak, there are about 1,600 convicts, uh, 400 soldiers, 200 civil officers and their families. There was about 2,200 people here on this 100 acre or 40 hectare settlement. So it would have been a very busy settlement in its heyday. Um, and it's a secondary punishment station. So what this means, convicts have come here for committing a minimum of two crimes. It's connected to the fireplace. In the evenings, one of the uh, additional tours is the ghost tour. Um, it's a historic ghost tour. It goes for about an hour and a half. And um, it, it sort of looks at the supernatural side of Port Arthur. Um, some of the unusual things that have occurred here. And they date right back to the 1870s, um, right, from, right through to today. So it's a big range, well, big spectrum for the, the supernatural uh, to occur here. On these tours, people experience a lot of different things. Um, you don't just see a ghost. You might hear something, touch something, smell something. So it's a whole range of senses. Um, so you, you tend to find that ghost is an umbrella term for this range of experiences. Um, also, people have weird things happening with their cameras, not being able to take photos uh, because the batteries don't work or the... Um, flashes, uh, flashes um, going bananas, you know, a lot of different things that are happening um, in, in particular spots around the site. But when they go to other parts of the site, the camera's working fine, or the camera's been working fine the day before they came here. Um, also, unusual photos, we get a lot of different photos, um, to the point where we've actually put a board up in the visitor centre um, with a lot of the, the, the uh, unusual things that have been caught on camera by visitors. When I first looked back over the footage from the ghost tour, I couldn't believe what I saw. The hairs on the back of my neck stood tall. Look for yourself. See it? Let me play it one more time in slow-mo. I couldn't believe it. I'd filmed an actual ghost. Now for those having difficulty seeing this evil vision from the afterlife, let me outline its ghastly figure for you. See it? firm proof that ghosts do exist. 